Albert Omora Jr. right there. That is the Major League Play of the Week. Albert, it's Brian Kenny. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, you know, I'm just, I have so many things in my head. I know I've been told many times that people think, oh, it's the Ivy, it's kind of nice, but it's a brick wall, actually. What was it like yeah. making that catch? Uh, <clears throat> that one wasn't too bad. I had one in, uh, in, in a scrimmage. Uh, that was pretty tough, but uh, but that one was good. That one was good. Uh, that was fun. Do you take that into consideration? I know because uh, again, when you're going back, uh, what are your thoughts as far as being able to touch the wall, the, br the brick wall or not? I just want to make the play, man. It's 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 pretty simple. I don't really think too much. I think of it as a normal wall, as crazy as that may sound, but mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I, I as it, the ball he hit, it was a uh, it was going into that jet stream, and I thought. I thought it was going to be either a home run or it was going to sneak right under that that little uh, basket that we got. So uh, I just went up and I tried to make the play. I didn't. I didn't. Wasn't thinking of my body at all. Hey Albert, I've been dialed in on you guys against the Cincinnati <laughs> Reds. Without quite, you guys are loud. Yeah. I can hear you in the dugout from my couch. Yeah. Is that an extension yeah. of D. Ross? Is that is that you guys are going to top step all year? Take me inside the mindset of like trying to create this bond, even though there's no fans in the yard. Yeah, I mean, it's the energy. It's, we just want the energy to be there, and I think we have the right group of guys that that care about the game, that care about winning, and we have a lot of fun doing it. You know, we guys got we got guys like like Javi and Riz. You know, that that bring a lot of energy, and uh, you you just feed off that, and um, you, you can see it. Like you see, like, like you guys said, we're loud, and but uh, and I I listen to it even when I'm hitting. You could you could tell that the that they're all with you. We're all they're all with us, and and. They're they're grinding just like like we're up at the play. It's pretty cool. It's really special. Yeah. Albert Al Alleiter here. I, I'm I'm curious. You know, we keep talking about this is a sprint, not a marathon. Is there some sort of mantra? Um, you know, we talked about David Ross, your manager, but what goes on within the clubhouse and the team, even yourself individually, with this short season and how you go about it? I I just think you can't put too much pressure, you know, on yourself, and you just got to go out and play the same game. Um, yeah, like you said, it's not you, you, the the mistakes should be limited, and and, and uh, you know one game can cause a a division or whatever the case may be. But that's the same in, in 162 games. So we just take the game day by day and have it keep having a lot of fun and keep playing the game hard, and usually it'll go away. And Albert, you're in Cincinnati now. Um, what is the direction yep. from the club or your fellow players about? As we've said here, staying in the bubble as far as uh, the unit integrity of trying to keep everybody safe. Yeah, I think our team did a great job of, uh, you know, we got a nice little setup at the hotel. We uh, we have like a whole, the conference room for to get our food, and then we have a little like a rooftop to after game so we can hang out as a team. And um, but besides that, man, it's it's, I think uh, we're really bought in on just staying safe and and uh, you know just trying to, you know, just ride this whole crazy experience out and. Uh, just try to win a World Series at the end of it. All right. Well Albert, done. Yeah. Okay. I, I got to yeah. ask him one more. Keep it real. Yeah. He was your teammate. Yeah. Now he's your manager. Is is D. Ross keeping it together? Is he a little nervy or is he locked in? No, I think I think it's it's so incredible to see. I love when he goes out and talks to pitchers and he doesn't pull them. He just you know has a little conversation and, and has that confidence in them. I, uh, I think it's great, man. He, keep, he does keep it loose in the clubhouse and uh, – yeah, man, it's super special being a, being his teammate. And now he's my manager. It's a, it's it's unique. Awesome. Did you think he was unraveling? Yeah, what do you no, think? Like no, no, no. I've waited. Well, well, me and David Ross have <laughs> talked. You've talked about this moment multiple times. I mean, I, I went and golfed with him at this offseason. I said, bro, you're the manager of the Chicago Cubs. I mean, this is it's been a slow progression. Yeah. So All right. this is awesome. So he's we loving it. Yeah, he's we can it. let Albert. Yeah, we'll let Albert go. <laughs> Albert, you're just having a conversation up here. Albert, hey, congratulations on the play of the week, and best of luck this afternoon. Thanks, guys.